Very well, then. So uh, it's a do some work, right? But I'll just speed for it because it's uh, stuck a uh, bit. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the seventh. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. <laughs> I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo-senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan? There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence to me. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. <laughs> I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you everything. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo, my grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy! But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident. And the experiment failed. They lost control of the shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe... that's 
why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then those students who were hospitalized... It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekokan High School. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? Yep. You lied to us? Hit information, Warlock. And you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us. That Why it. Do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fighting? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair, but shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebaku, it's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find and destroy them. Do you realize what that means? What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it. And this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. Hmm. Can you see if you can get this cartridge out to replace it with a new one for me, please? Watch you don't fall over that. Yeah. So dance if you 
Couldn't get the points today uh, in studying, so I had to do it this way. Okay. Lounging about as usual, huh? Hmm? Hugh, what do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. That's not why I'm here. I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway. We finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit? Yeah. The thing is... All I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. around. Hmm. You really haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? This is unusual. Please, come in. So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean, hack into their system? Is that allowed? I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth. In detail. Senpai... Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. 
I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Uh, oh. Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus in the dark hour. We're on the way out, huh? <laughs> no, that's a good thing. It's what we've been fighting for. So then... Why... Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Wow. I can't believe we're already third years. Guess this will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. <laughs> I get it. My problem is me. I'm going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. Why am I only ever right about the worst things? Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule and sent to you in ten years' time, Yukari. You may be small now, but in ten years, you'll be sixteen. Be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work, but I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Kari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's faces. Eiichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. Alright, well, yep, yeah, gotta do that first. Yeah. Huh. 
Okay. So it's warming up, but I think five minutes early is the minimum. Uh, don't always be waiting too long for meetings. Get. So what's up? How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So tell me, how's life as a Persona user? I wonder what. I hope you find it soon. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Oh, didn't your parents pass away about 10 years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you because we're friends, right? Is that so? Explains uh, issues with Persona 4 and the slight issues with Persona 5. Good night. They have to face something they do not want to face. But they must face it, otherwise, they have no hope. Okay, what are you going to say this time? Um... Wow. Ooh. Hmm. You know what? Uh. I'm sure you're not the only one. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. So it's free that that uh, I know that wishes that. Hey, Junpei. Yeah, we know. Thank you very much. Now, if we want, if we want us to be more excited, say the B word. 